You know, I think if we're lucky, our fields choose us. The two areas that I work in are liturgical and sacramental theology and theologies of religious pluralism and interreligious engagement. And I think on the one hand, I just know even as a child, though I wouldn't have had the words for it at the time, that I was fascinated with the rhythms and the musicality and the structure of ritual practice from a very early age. There are two things that I think the church is facing now as it rethinks mission and ministry in a 21st century context. One, of course, is that the Episcopal Church is wrestling with the revision and reshaping of its own liturgical resources and practices. And um, I'd like to think uh, those of us who are liturgists in the church have a little bit of expertise to offer as the church thinks together about um, worship as we move forward. And um, it's also the case that our graduates now, very different than 100 years ago or even 50 years ago, will be leading their congregations in contexts that are interreligious and pluralistic. Their neighbors will be Muslims, their clericus partners will be Buddhists, and it's important for Christian ministers to be able to engage with other religious traditions and practices graciously and hospitably. Um, and it's also important for them to have an ability to give a theological account themselves of their own understanding of the presence of those religious traditions in the world and our relationship to them. So uh, I think both of the fields that I work in are um, pretty current and pretty relevant in terms of the face of mission and ministry uh, these days in the 21st century. I'm currently working on a couple of things. I'm co-editing a volume with a colleague, uh, Martha Moore Kish, at Columbia Seminary in Decatur, Georgia, on sacraments and sacramentality uh, that will come out from TNT Clark, we hope in 2021. I'm also finishing up a long-awaited book, uh, long awaited by me and my editor, uh, on the Eucharist that will be published by New York University Press. And then I have begun to draft a text in which I engage with certain Japanese Buddhist religious traditions as a way to uh, hold up a mirror to ourselves and think comparatively about our own approach to uh, practices and goals of, uh, of Christian life and prayer. On the sort of interreligious engagement side, I grew up with um, uh, a grandmother who, a bit out of step with her time and generation and region, was uh, really fascinated by the wisdom that other religious traditions had to offer to Christians. And that deeply imprinted me early on. And I found that um, over the course of time, sort of exploring that more deeply was attractive to me and my own uh, eventual engagement and learning from Buddhist traditions that actually deepened my own ability to think about my Christian faith uh, led me to want to dig more deeply into that in higher education as well. So I think in many ways um, my fields chose me by blossoming from very early interests and relationships that I had in my life.